uh, interior vid. Uh, as explained, this this cover back here uh, is in fact missing. Um, a little tiny bit of surface corrosion. I've made no effort to clean that up and I think it would clean up. The battery is new as a 422, not the correct size, but they rarely are. Um, uh, fuel sending unit underneath this cover. The plug has come apart. I haven't fixed that yet, so the uh, gas gauge is in op. I did remove that sending unit to clean the tank out when it was empty before putting in the new strainer, uh, hoses, and uh, checking all of that. Uh, there's the usual warping that you'll get on this interior panel. It's real, real minor though, rel relative to a lot of them. A little worse on this side, but uh, completely functional. Um, these seats are incredibly supple. Um, I have uh, owned a few of these, and sometimes this leather is just freaking rock hard and really tough to bring back. I mentioned to you that there was one hole on the seat, and it's right here. Um, a little bit of damage there to that little piece of vinyl. Um, but the headliner, uh, is beautiful, although there's one missing little piece behind the driver's head. I'll come around to the other side. These carpets are serviceable. Have made, I have not cleaned them yet. There's one dash vertically oriented right here, and that's probably a common spot. One missing knob on the temperature control at the top. The guts are back there, but the knob just came off and may be in the car somewhere. Okay. The doors open and close. The door cards are great. The doors close with a resounding thunk, as does the hatch and the hood. Uh, super, super, super slight wear on the driver's bolster here. But it's fairly incredible. Um, car hasn't been really monkeyed with like so many of them. Uh, with the cheap vinyl amateur hour reupholster. So this is original leather. And any of this little yellow lint you see is pr probably from microfibers when I was coating these seats uh, with Connolly Hide food. Uh, inside the car, the gauges are bright. I think this car has been a lot of time uh, in a garage. I'm going to test the alternator shortly. Oil pressure is great on the motor. Temperature gauge comes up. Thermostat opens. And the car presently shows 48,583 miles. When I drive shortly, I'll test the speedometer and the odometer to see if it's in fact functioning. Um, very, very good all the way around relative to what I've seen anyway.